The Senate expense scandal rocked Ottawa, and Senator Mike Duffy became one of the faces of the controversy. He was criminally charged. Defense lawyer Donald Bain represented Mike Duffy at trial that saw all 31 charges dropped. Now in a new book titled More Tough Crimes, True Cases by Canadian Judges and Lawyers, Donald Bain writes about the trial and all the attention it got, and he joins us now from our studio in Ottawa. Appreciate your time, Mr. Bain. Thank you. Most welcome. Well, given your extensive career and the many high-profile trials, could anything in your career have prepared you for this case with Mike Duffy? Well, I wasn't prepared for the avalanche of media because I thought, quite frankly, there would be no charges once people looked at the evidence, once the RCMP and Crown looked at the evidence. Um, I thought it was pretty evident that he had neither violated any Senate rules, much less committed a crime, and he wasn't remotely behind the Nigel Wright $90,000 check, all of which the judge found conclusively in his ruling. But tell me your reaction to, because you, you realized very quickly that this was garnering a massive amount of attention. Tell me about the strategy you adopted to deal with that. Well, some members of the media called it the political trial of the century. Um, and while we were prepared for, I would say, a lot of media, uh, neither Senator Duffy nor his wife nor I uh, was prepared for the daily gauntlet uh, that we had to run into and out of the courthouse. Um, the stage that was set up at the exit uh, to the courthouse building where daily you would come out to a, uh, uh, an arm of uh, television lights and uh, microphones asking and reporters shouting out questions. That went on for a year. So it was, uh, it was daunting, it was repetitive, um, and uh, it never really let up. And anything like that would take a toll, certainly, well, on, on Mike Duffy, on yourself. Tell me about, because at some point, you were actually very worried about his health. Yeah, the day before the trial actually commenced, as I sometimes do, with people who have little familiarity with courts or criminal courts, I took Mike and Heather Duffy into the courtroom where the trial was scheduled to be heard, just so they could see where they would sit, how the parties would line up, uh, and the whole configuration, just to get the feel of the place. And uh, Mike, I thought, was going to have a, a heart attack uh, on the spot. He has a, a long history of heart disease, and uh, he was short of breath, faint, had to sit down. And I thought, um, he's never going to make it through this trial. Um, I was wrong about that, because he's, uh, he's quite a... Uh, a soldier, and uh, he pulled himself together, and he was very dignified through the trial. And it was, it was evident to me that it was, um, it was really killing Heather daily, weekly, monthly. Let me ask you about your thoughts on Nigel Wright, because there was always so many questions being asked. How can Mike Duffy be charged with accepting a bribe, and yet Nigel Wright never be charged with giving one? Well, that's really the decision that the police made. Uh, they've offered reasons for why they did that. Um, you know, my job was to defend Senator Duffy. Uh, I wasn't at the trial to prosecute Nigel Wright. Um, uh, I did cross-examine him, and the judge made findings about his evidence and the evidence of others from the PMO that and those findings weren't flattering to those people. Um, but I, I, I really don't want to comment on uh, whether they should have been charged or not. That was a prosecutorial decision. Certainly. Well, all 31 charges, as we mentioned, as we now know, of course, dismissed. Um, what do you think about, in the aftermath of the dismissal, the court of public opinion? Well, that's principally what I wrote about in the chapter in the book. Uh, about media sensationalism and the coverage of major 
not only uh, events, but major trials, major public events, uh, and the, uh, in a post-truth world, where the media really pander to uh, sensation, scandal, oversimplification, and, and latching on to a, an early view, a storyline, and then not changing it. And the storyline that the media nationally uh, was obsessed with from day one, even before Mike J Duffy was charged, right through his trial and even afterward, was that Senator Duffy was guilty. He was, he was a villainous thief. Even though the evidence didn't support that, even though the judge didn't uh, remotely find that, and uh, the, but, but it was a better story as a greedy, corrupt politician than as a complex, nuanced story of what exactly uh, are senators told about expenses they can incur? Uh, did he follow those rules? Who told him? This was fine when he checked into it. Um, who authored the the ninety thousand mm. dollar payment? Because he was he was depicted as being uh, greedy and groveling to Nigel Wright to get this, when the truth was opposite. He didn't want any part of it, and was forced into it. Um, and the judge commented on that, and the emails proved that. Interesting to get your thoughts on this, Mr. Bain. Thank you for coming on the program. My pleasure, thank you.